Hey, what's up World Wide Web? Welcome back to the channel where we explore my mind and the world and today is going to be something different. I recently went on a day trip with my friends Feather and Win from Fell in the West. Wait, no, the other way around. And I wanted to do this before they left Toronto to continue their travels off into Ireland and Poland and Mexico land. And instead of capturing a typical travel vlog, I decided to do it in a different more pretentious way, a bit like how John Green does his travel videos. The only difference is that he's a best-selling author and I can barely write my own tweets. The drive itself felt pretty long and we were excited to see the place they called the most beautiful town in Canada. Technically it's a village, but whatever. When we got there, we crossed over the bridge into the main street of town. The main part of the village is located along the riverbed of the Grand River that flows from many kilometers north of Alora down to Lake Erie. After walking around the beautifully quaint main street of Alora, we noticed that many of the shops and businesses had closed just as we got there around 5. Being from bigger cities, we were kind of taken aback by how many businesses closed that quickly at 6 or 5 o'clock compared to Toronto businesses that seem to run 12 hours a day at least. It's nice to see how good of a work-life balance this town seems to promote. The life outside work and school seems to be worth more than we seem to value it in the city. Of course, it's totally possible that these people could just go home and work another job online or lock themselves away in an all-night Netflix marathon session instead of interaction and exploration. Those two things that people mock millennials for not doing enough of. Another thing we noticed was that uh, there are a lot of these shops and businesses that were artisan type shops selling boutique handmade wearables and art pieces and other such things, which means that not only are the artists able to survive in this town, but can also afford rent in the center of town. Most Toronto artists can barely afford a co-working space, so it's no wonder that their artisanal pillows go for $100 on Etsy. Afterward, we headed to the famous Alora Gourd, and I must say that it was indeed as breathtaking as I thought it would be. And it wasn't just because I was walking around a lot and it was hot outside and I was actually running out of breath, but it really was something to be marveled at. It was definitely incredible. The bowl shape of the gorge formed by something something science, something something geography, something something over thousands of years was just so calming. And I know like it's incredibly cliche, but there's just something about nature that makes humans feel something unexplainable. When there's not much to hear but the creatures' noises, like the birds chirping or the crickets and the river running and the sound of your own breath, it's hard not to enjoy that escape. Oh great, now I'm thinking about my own breathing. But I must say that this place, this town, the gorge that they have within it, it was, without a doubt, truly gorgeous. And until next time, go explore something.